Good afternoon, Year 4, and welcome to your computing lesson of the 3rd of February 2021. So today we're going to learn all about the history of animation to give you a little bit of context behind your scratch animation that you've been creating over the last few weeks. So on that, last week you should have finished your scratch storyboard by adding speech and a second character. If you've not finished, you must log on to complete this first as part of your lesson. So for the final two weeks of the term, we are going to learn about the history of animation. So you know where Scratch, PlayStation, Xbox and all the other oh, a minute, animations, not animals, you see came from. OK, and then we're going to start a new unit after the half term. So your steps to success today, you will be able to explain what is meant by animation, describe early devices used to develop animation techniques, explain how simple animation techniques work, and explain how computer software has improved animation techniques. So what is animation? So I want you to have a think about what is meant by animation. I'm just going to reveal the answer now. <clears throat> so animation is the process of creating the illusion of moving images using a series of still frames. Okay, so animation is actually lots of different pictures that move really, really slowly, lots of times to create the illusion that they are actually moving. So before animation was wi widely understood, there were many inventions and devices that fascinated people by seeming to merge images or make them appear to move. Some of these have complicated sounding names. We've got the thaumatrope, hopefully I've said that right, and the flipbook. I'm sure you've all heard of a flipbook before, but that was actually one of the first forms of animation. So how do you think each of these techniques would have worked? And you're going to research more into these later using your devices. OK, so first you're going to find out more about at least one of these devices. Then we will get chance to design and make a flipbook next week. So we haven't got the exact activity sheet provided, but I have uploaded a table onto Teams for you to research the early techniques of animation. So I'll show you what the sheet is going to look like on the next page. So you've got a grid of four with the different names of the early animation inventions. What I would like you to do, you can either enter your text on Teams or if you want to do this on paper and draw a picture, just attach a photograph of your work onto the assignment on Teams. Um, so we know that you've completed it and handed it in. It's so much easier to mark your work on Teams rather than via the email. So next week, we're going to be creating your own flipbook. Today, you will design this. So again, I would have put this sheet onto Teams, but you cannot edit it. So what I would like you to do is draw a grid of 12 boxes, okay? And start with your stick man in the right hand side of the first box, like you can see on the sheet. And decide what your stick figure is going to do in 12 steps. So your stick figure needs to make slight movements in each box. So it could run, jump, clap, somersault, handstand, whatever you choose. And they need to make a slight movement from the right hand side in every box so that when you flip your book it will look as though your stick figure is moving okay so what we're going to do now i'm going to put a short youtube video on of flip of flip books a man that's created lots of cool flip books for you to just have a look at how some of them were okay hopefully this works hang on a moment Try the link. Talk, talk winter deals across our fast. Share it with the sound. Fiber fiber broadband plans from twenty two pounds a month. Search talk talk fiber. If you work in a team, you've got to try Monday.com. Go to Monday.com and manage all your team's work. 
Hi guys, today's video is a compilation of some of the flipbooks that I have made over the past couple years. Um, I'll also put links to each of the full videos in the description box below so you can see the making of for each one. Hope you enjoy it and I'll see you at the end. Thanks you guys and uh, I just have to say you are an amazing community and it's really because of each of you that I'm even able to do what I do. So thanks for making that possible. And I also want to tell you about today's sponsor. Okay, so you can see how cool the books can actually be. I think the balloon one was my favorite, it was so cute. I'm sure a lot of you liked the uh, dancing one and the action-packed one. So that is a little taster into what you are going to be creating next week. <clears throat> Obviously, the grid that we've asked you to send in is 12 boxes long. If next week you decide you want to create a longer flip book, that's absolutely fine. OK, so what you will need for next week just to prepare you is just little squares of card all attached together somehow. Um, hole punch them and tie them or split pin them um, or you can even buy a flip book if you would like to off Amazon I'm sure they've got some on there um, but if you want to just stick with the 12 box one I'm sure it'd be quite easy for you to cut up a piece of A4 paper into 12 boxes um, but you can see how much detail these flip books go into and that is actually 
how films are made, animated films. There's lots of little boxes with lots of different scenes. And when they put them all together, they play and they appear on our screens as they do. So it's pretty cool. OK, so that's what you're doing today is designing your flip book and thinking about the history of animation. Sorry about the little glitch about the video. It's taken me a while to know how to unshare the screen and share it onto a different screen. Hopefully you could hear the video. Um, as a plenary, I just want you to think how times have changed, because obviously back then when Walt Disney started in particular, um, there was no computer, so he had to do the majority of his first films on paper. So how do you think computers have changed the animation process? What advantages are there in using a computer to produce multiple similar images compared to pencil and paper? Um, and then if you want to add a couple of ideas to the bottom of your work, then that'd be fantastic. So really excited to see your designs for your flip book. Again, can you just take a photograph of the designs and attach them to the assignment provided? Um, if you struggle with that, then you can pop it on the email, but it's super easy. Some of you have already been attaching photographs, which is fantastic. Um, hopefully you enjoy this lesson and hopefully your scratch projects are finished and we will speak soon.